In the previous video, we discussed the Solomonov's completeness theorem and I argued that this is uh, one of the most beautiful theorems in mathematics and uh, it's a bit, uh, it's definitely uh, underrated and we should really promote it much more because it's really a beautiful theorem. Today we're going to discuss the proof of this theorem, uh, which is not uh, very difficult, it's actually um, quite an easy proof. But before getting to the proof, let me recall the theorem. So we set up a prior probability distributions on all computable prediction, probabilistic prediction theories with a prior that typically decreases exponentially with uh, the length of the description of the program of the theory with respect to some universal Turing machine or some Turing complete language. Then applying Bayes' rule and all, we make predictions. And what the completeness theorem says is that the sum of uh, all errors of predictions using the KL divergence to measure the, the, the error of prediction is going to be at most the so-called Solomonov complexity of the true theory T star. And I argued that this is absolutely remarkable because in a sense it means that whoever computes uh, Solomonov's equations, let's assume it's someone I call Solomonov's demon, then Solomonov's demon is going to get it right and it's going to get it right very quickly. So let's give the proof of this theorem. So the proof is as follows. We consider well, the sum of uh, all errors, expected errors of uh, Solomonov's demon. And we can see that this corresponds to taking the sum over time from t equals 1 to n of the expectations over all past data of the expectation over the current data of the logarithm of the ratio between the prediction of uh, T star and the prediction of Solomonov's demon. No, so, so there are a bit of technical difficulties I'm skipping uh, about whether this is well defined or not, but let's assume it's well defined. And the interesting thing is because of linearity of the expectation operators, we can take the expectation over all the inputs x1 to n, including future data, it doesn't change anything. And then we can invert the sum and the expectation. And then we get an expectation over the sum of the logarithm uh, of uh, this ratio. And the sum of the logarithm is the logarithm of the product. And then we get a chain rule of the uh, numerator and the denominator of the different uh, sequences of data, which simply corresponds to the probability of all of the data given the theory T star or given the predictions of the sum of demon. And now interestingly, we can invoke another lemma, which is uh, very easy, which basically says that the prediction of uh, sum of uh, demon is going to be at least the weight of the theory T star according to the sum of demon times the prediction of Solomonov's demon. And thus the ratio that we considered is necessarily at most one over the probability of T star according to Solomonov's demon. And thus we see that the sum over all errors does not actually depend on the number n that we consider. And it is at most minus the logarithm of the prior probability of T star and now if we consider the prior that we considered initially, we can see that this is at most the length of the description of T star, which is itself at most the so-called Kolmogorov complexity of T star, which is the shortest possible description of T star. And there you have it, we have the proof of Solomonov's competence theorem. This is just so beautiful.